Okay, so somebody asked me a question, basically, how did I build the headphones that I built? So basically talking about the Yamaha um, vintage planers, the 55 millimeter pinched, uh, pinched planer magnetics. Um, here you can see I've got uh, a Bang & Olufsen U70 driver installed. If we take a look inside, we can see Tuan, Tuan Angel Hair. It's a Mundorf product. This basically increases the, the volume of the driver housing. And uh, if you have damping, a damping layer, um, this will push the damping layer onto the back of the driver. So it acts as like a spring for your damping. Um, if we look a little bit closer, so it looks like ground, ground is the center pin and signal is the the outside pin. So there's a there's a center pin that has a little uh, leg sticking off that you solder onto, and um, that's your that looks like it's ground. So center center pin is ground. Um, if you look around the um, the driver, you'll see all this white stuff. That is um, epoxy putty. That's Loctite epoxy putty. So if you look at the top here, there's vents over here and here and down here there's a vent. Um, I cover all the vents with epoxy putty to seal it up and then also if you if you look here you can see I've got some plastic some not plastic dip some uh, wall tack some blue tack shoved in right here. Um, you gotta make sure that you shove epoxy putty down into these crevices right here at the back um, because you need to seal all the way around so you need to you need to seal in those little in those little crevices um, also one thing that you need to keep in mind is this torn on angel hair you need to keep it out of so what I do is I get I get a screwdriver and I push it out of the way of all the uh, the screw posts because if it's in the way of a screw post and you and you try to screw into it you can strip the threads. So you need to be really careful with the uh, with the torn angel hair. Okay, put the ear pad on. Well first here. So if you look at the front, I've got um I've got a Casa Pax mate lining the front and also lining this back ridge um, that your ear kind of sits into um, just to try to reduce reflections and also I have uh, a layer of uh, damping material on the front and then if you look here and here like right at the center and right on the perimeter it goes underneath the damping it's a base lens basically the base lens it's not exactly needed the Pac-Man damping, it's not exactly needed, but I feel it helps just a little bit to reduce sibilance. Um, not a huge issue. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, I didn't mention that this is the, uh, the stock driver. If you look on the back, there's, there's these two, you see this, you see this lip right here? See that little lip? There's one on either side. You can just grab these two lips and you spin it. You just twist the driver out of the baffle. So you, you take the baffle off of the uh, out of the driver housing and you look at the back and you're looking at the back of the driver. You unsolder the connections and then you just twist it out and it comes right out. Um, but yeah, that's basically everything. I mean, if you have, if anybody has any questions on what it is they're doing, what they should be buying. I'll provide links for everything that, that you'll be buying. You'll need a soldering iron. You'll need epoxy putty. You'll need twine angel hair. You'll need arctic cotton, bamboo bat, batting for damping material. You'll need some, you'll need, there's substitutes for all these materials, but the, I, I, I think that this stuff sounds maybe just a pinch, a pinch better than uh, some of the generic generic branded stuff that you could get um, but yeah if you have any questions please post a comment and uh, I'll try to get back to you alright thanks guys good luck
All right, I also forgot to mention that um, when you take the baffle off of the driver housing, inside the driver housing, on the back, on the back wall, on the back wall of this plastic frame, you need to line it with a Casa Pax mate or some sort of sound absorbing foam. I think details come through a lot sharper um, without the muddling of the reflections off of the back wall. Um, I tend to cut a hole. There's a little port. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, see right here. There's a little port in the uh, in the driver housing, and uh, I cut a hole in the sound absorbing foam to allow air to still escape through that port. So it's not a fully sealed um, housing, but it probably doesn't make much difference if you cut that hole or not. I just it's just I mean something that I do, but yeah.